Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So you might notice something, guys. If you're new to the channel, you may not realize what's going on. But the people that's been around for a while, you, you notice something a little different. The audio. I have this amazing new mic that I went ahead and purchased. So I hope moving forward, we don't have no issues with the audio. And you guys can hear me when I'm doing these videos. I can't wait to take this thing on the road. But anyway... So I just dropped a video on cleaning this tank behind me and then also on our dove eye over here, guys. Um, if you haven't caught that video, check it out. It's this one right here. But our dove eye, man, he's, he's doing pretty bad. He has Popeye. Um, as I indicated in that video and I'll indicate it right now, it is not due to water quality. It is due to a scratch. So he damaged his eye. You can see the scratches right on his eye. And um, he, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a beast, you know what I mean? Like he's aggressive, you know, he fights with other fish, things like that. And like I indicated before, this rock work, it's unforgiving. So it's quite easy for a fish to get scratched on there if they're swimming really fast, darting in and out, you know, to, in and out the rock work, it's easy for them to get, uh, get hurt. So you see him right there, his, uh, his eye is pretty, pretty bad. So I've been medicating with the Melifix. If you look up top, you'll notice I have two bottles up there. But um, I looked online and um, a fellow YouTuber by the name of Andy Woods, I'm gonna give him his flowers right now. He definitely gave me an idea with how to treat this Popeye on the Dovice Cichlid. He has a video out. If you haven't checked that out, check out Andy Woods' uh, channel check out that video right there and uh it did work wonders you know so basically um you could either treat the whole tank which i was possibly going to do but instead i'm actually just going to take them out put them inside of that garbage can over there probably take out about 15 to 20 gallons let them sit in there for about 30 minutes with a with a um, bubbler and then i'll basically put about a tablespoon per gallon in that trash can It'll be the same thing with this situation right here with this 240, but it's a big tank. I don't want to risk, I don't want to treat a, a 240 gallon tank, guys. I don't. So we're going to use a, that garbage can over there. Hopefully that works. Um, I don't know how many treatments I'm going to do this for, basically until it gets better. So I'll do this daily if I have to, but the idea is to get him back to his um, full glory. You know, I love that guy. Like I said many a times, this is my favorite fish ever. Because of the Dovi cichlid, I actually got back into fish keeping about nine years ago. I was on the shelf for a long time. So we got to make sure he stays in good health. And I don't want him to lose his eye. Right now, you see back there that he's fighting with the African knife. And it was a similar situation, but he had eye cloud and everything. So he ended up losing one of his eyes. I don't know if you could zoom in and catch that white eye. But he has, he has a, basically, he has a bad eye. Um... But he's still doing good, eating, fighting, running the tank between him and the Dovi. So it don't really stop anything, but I want to make sure we, get, we take care of this guy. So moving forward, like I said, so we're going to pull out about 15 to 20 gallons of this water. And we'll dump it in that bucket right there. I'm going to put in that Epsom salt. You're going to catch me putting it on the bubbler. And then we'll just see how it goes. So let's do this. All right, guys, so that's about five gallons thus far. Let's see how this five gallons is going to treat us. That's looking pretty good. Um, ain't that good enough? All right, guys. So that's gonna be good enough. 
Now we just have to catch this guy. Y'all, matter of fact, let me put the salt in there now before I even catch him. I don't want to put the salt in there afterwards. So let me grab a tablespoon. All right, so we're gonna do five tablespoons. It's three, four, five. And so when you select your, your Epsom salt, if you ever have to try this, uh, make sure that it's not scented, anything like that. You want it to be as pure as possible anything else i'm pretty sure to kill the fish so i'm nervous i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna front i'm nervous i, I haven't i've never done this before usually any kind of <laughs> all right guys so as i was saying i'm really nervous about this i've never done this before and i really don't want anything to happen to our fish but i'm willing to try because i don't want to have him lose his eye and I don't want him to get worse. So we're going to catch him. We're going to put him in here. I have my bubbler right here. And then let me just plug this on in, get that going. And I'll be right back. Like I said, I got my aerator plugged in, air pump. And now... We want to get this going. It's good to have a little spare air pump such as this on standby. Hear that? That's what we need right there. That's what we need. So <laughs> it would have been nice to probably have some, uh, some stones too, some air stones. I don't have any, I don't think. But we'll make this work right here. Do I have an air stone somewhere? I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I have a whole bunch of supplies, but I don't have an air stone. So I'm just weighing it down with a piece of rock. That'll work. So now we have to go about catching this guy. This is going to be quite the challenge. Hopefully it's not, but he's quick. He don't want to get caught. See what I mean? And everybody else start thinking they getting caught, but you're not, dude. I see ya, I see ya. Oh, I might not be that hard. <laughs> but then again, it is. All I gotta do is just get him into this corner and he's done. Oh, you're done. Got you. Got you. So the last thing I want is for him to hurt himself more. All right, I'm gonna have to do this quick. All right, here's the moment of truth, guys. And so I just read online, and it says to um, do this every day until we see the swelling reduced. So we just gotta keep a real close eye out on them. All right, guys, so I just put in another five gallons. He could swim. That's good. Now we just gotta, gotta wait it out. Maybe you can see, I see the scratch on the top of his eye right there in the front. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's hard to see. But we can run a little time lapse. 
See that scratch, guys? Right there on the front. Probably not, but nonetheless, we got 15 minutes like this. We'll be back. Cross your fingers, guys. We'll need it. All right, guys, so it's been about 11 to 12 minutes. I'm, uh, I'm done stressing out. I'm about to put him back in there. So moving forward, what I'll do is I'll just keep this garbage can with this water in, in the other room, and um, I'll just put him back in here daily for, for about 10 to 15 minutes. But let me get him back in there. I'm tired of stressing out because he's looking a little stressed himself, so we both stressing. Let's get him back into that tank. So I'm doing him like this so he can't thrash about and injure himself any further. And as you can see, the eye is still looking pretty bad. Looking pretty bad, guys. It don't look any better to me. And I don't know what the little white dot on his forehead is. I have no clue about that. Man. Ah. I also threw a little Melifix in there. But um, if you guys have any suggestions, Please drop them down in the comment section. I would wait to put out this video until it's healed up, but I need some assistance on this. I know some of you guys have dealt with something like this before, and uh, I'm no expert at any of this stuff. I'm just explaining, I'm just showing you my hobby and how I, how I keep these fish. So um, we help one another. So I wouldn't mind getting some help from somebody. So drop, that, drop your comment down in the comment section. If you have any um, advice on what to use, I know a few of you guys dropped some um, advice with the African knife. You know, I tried it. It didn't really help anything. He was, it was really bad on him. His eye was all cloudy and everything. And, but as you just seen, he's still in here. Matter of fact, he's right, right there. But, um, and there go that white eye. Oh, you can't catch him every time. Oh, you already got the white eye. So you've seen the white eye. You see the eye that he's blind in. And we don't want that to happen to the dove eye. So um, if you could, uh, you know, if, if you have some experience with this, you have some tips, please drop them down in the comment section. Uh, moving forward, I will be taking them out and treating him. If you think that it makes more sense just to do the whole tank, um, drop that down in the comment section. Just let me know. Um, I didn't really want to do it that way because it's such a large tank and I don't want to expose everybody to that um, kind of concentrated salt, even though it's, you know, it's supposed to be fine or whatever the case may be, I still didn't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I guess I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow my Facebook page at Fish Corner. Follow my TikTok, The Fish Corner. Follow my C.A. Kennedy on Instagram. Follow my Cleveland Kennedy on Instagram. Check out that Teespring account. I got some real dope merch over there. I can't wait to get to 10K. When I got 10K, you're going to be able to see right down below what I have on Teespring. But you can't have that shown until what's what they call it a shelf or something like that i don't even i forgot what it's called because i can't have it yet but moving forward when i get to 10k that's when i can put my teespring merchandise right down below these videos and you'll see what i have to offer and i could go ahead and switch it up for you guys but until then you know i have a link tree account and that link tree account you can find my teespring account that's where you can find all my all my merchandise guys so um some real dope things over there check it out if you get the time and uh, cross your fingers on this guy, man. We need to make sure he uh, he gets better, man. Um, well, that's it, guys. Catch you later. Peace.